Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Interference Dead Air. This is a brand new horror game about working as a night shift security guard in a crazy research facility. The description of this game really reminded me of Security Booth, which is a game with the exact same concept, where you're working as a night guard for a weird research facility that does a bunch of crazy research that you don't really know the ins and outs of, but you know there's stuff going on and stuff's going very wrong. And I thought that, or I I really love security booth so i really wanted to check this one out came out two days ago i uh, i'm gonna have a great time and i hope you join us if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it just like it but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go e oh they're starting like this <laughs> a game by fair fear of corn hey it's valerie duh guess you close up shop early music is amazing all the time you can get to pack the one toothbrush and three pairs of socks you've been able to fit in your cabin out there in Nowheresville, Alaska. Let's go. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we're gonna be town mates again. Workmates, movie night mates. I don't know what to say, you know? I'm stoked. I'll admit it, and you should be too. It is beautiful out here in, um, well, Nowheresville, Arizona. <laughs> Seriously, though, there is a sense of infinite possibility in the landscape some serious inspiration for your script right call me corny but you'll see what i mean when you get here anyway let me know what i can do to smooth out your arrival okay hr was still a bit concerned that you've never worked a security booth before but i squared everything away and you're set to start in the new year as planned at the very least i trust you to keep us safe <laughs> great voice I think. all right i'll shut up now last night's experiment was an all-nighter so i should uh I should probably get some sleep. Love you. See you soon. Let's go! <laughs> what the hell? What an atmosphere! And we're just starting off, baby. Are you serious? You've been with the Barclay Institute for what? Three months and that's it? See you later? When were you planning on telling me? Uh, oh boy, here we go. Please don't make me feel bad about this. Whatever, it just never came up. I'm sorry, I don't know how I should tell you. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know how I sh when I should tell you. Any time would have been better than right now. <sighs> All right, cool. So now on top of the critical experiment we're about to conduct, I have to worry about you abandoning ship. And thanks yeah, this for is like Firewatch kind of. All the way out there in your cozy guard booth while we're at work. Instead of telling me to my face. You're being really unfair. I know this isn't ideal, but it's my life. I get to decide when when I move. I'd rather eat dirt than spend another second in this chair. I really am sorry. So now what? What's next with that Swiss cheese resume of yours? Barclay wouldn't have even looked at it if I hadn't pulled some strings to get you here. <laughs> Excuse me. I get it. I'm a horrible employee because I'm not interested in wearing a boring job. If this job is really as important as you always say it is, my resume will be fine. And I appreciate what you did, but I still think this is the best for me. Let's go nice. We're nice, guy. Burning another bridge with yet another employer is not what's best. What are you going to do? Go back to New York? The days of crashing on our friends' couches are over. I mean, Ben just had a kid, for God's sake. And who's going to put in a good word for you? Your boss here sure as hell won't, or the last three employers you abandoned. What, do you, what is a ban What do you mean abandoned? I want something real. All these part-time jobs are dead ends. I guess. Appreciate the support, by the way. It seems like you don't want to be alone out here. Okay, what should I do? There's nothing for me here. I, I guess. Appreciate the support, by the way. I kind of like that. Are you agreeing with me, or is the sarcasm a way to avoid talking about this? <laughs> So you're a social psychologist now? I, if I said I was agreeing with you, would you quit telling me what to do? I don't know. Can I just think about this a little more? Let's just think about it a little more. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's all I ask. I have to get back to work. We'll talk soon. Okay. Mallory is busy What's for up, now. Take some time to explore Raven. your you surroundings. Totally into KZRU, the only radio station as far as you or I are <laughs> concerned. It's been for you right now and here to kick off an explosive hour of audacious Can we put these in somewhere? Is that hot new track from Rose Finch. 
This have a cassette tape? Is interference. Oh. Good! <laughs> what the hell? The production quality is amazing. <laughs> okay, did we put that in the thing? Turn off boombox. I don't know if this is copyright free. I have to... Can I turn... Put this in? It probably is, right? Let's go. Oh, maybe here. No, that's it. Let's put this in. Here we go. Love the music. Look at the television. Turn on, please. <laughs> what the fuck? Aliens! Uh, someone got killed. Someone knocking on my window. Hello? Alright, just give me give me some time to think. I did I just stab myself on the cactus? Excuse me. Buns and bice. Oh. You got so much stuff. I can literally click on everything. There's a whoopee cushion. Can I put that on my chair? Can I prank myself? Uh, excuse me. I'm literally in the middle of nowhere, by the way. This is amazing. Right, maybe time to turn off the television. What the hell's going on? It's vampires? <laughs> what the fuck? This is how I keep myself entertained. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright, turn that bad boy off. I'm looking around real quick. I thought there was someone out here. Can I go outside? I cannot go outside. I'm in here. Okay, we got these, uh... Uh, glow-in-the-dark stickers. I love those. Anything on the computer? Oh boy, terminal locked. Remote authentication required. Vector 5 is- No oh. chest boopies. Anyone hear anything from Spencer? He's clapped in, but I can't get a hold of him. And we've got lights out over in Sector 5. Over. Okay. Do I- Can I talk to you? Hey, Jen Perry here. I haven't heard a peep, my friend. I can handle the reroute. You need me to go see what's up with him? Over. Is this me? Eh, negative. I'm feeling a little cooped up in this office anyway. Wouldn't mind a little fresh air. Besides, who's gonna stop me? The place is a ghost town tonight except for a few mad scientists. <laughs> Radio if you need me. Thanks, Perry. Over and out. Okay. Look at the lava lamp. Parts. Tato, tato skins. Anyone over here? Anyone being creepy out there? This gives me like, do you copy security booth and firewatch vibes? It's actually, I, I really like the setting right now. I did not expect it would be this high quality though. Holy shit. Uh, read floppy disk. Oh, rev I rush. The regular thing. We got some, uh, Time for noodles. <laughs> Try 111 as the password. It's got to say it somewhere, right? Uh, delivery log. Uh, it takes two team building LLC. <laughs> I remember that game. Is that made? There's no way that's made by the same people, right? Reminder, please clear any unscheduled deliveries with the central security office. Okay, nothing on there. Uh, maybe something on the wall. Memo. All, to all personnel, in the coming months, the research team anticipates another increase in power fluctuation throughout the facility. These disturbances are wholly expected and are not indicative of any internal or external threat. We are confident that the variance in power levels will not cause any damage to sensitive equipment, but there may be temporary uh, op operational disruptions such as dim or flickering lights, elect electromagnetic interference, complete power outages. These events are difficult to predict and as such will be... We will be unable to give advance warning. Rest assured that the situation is entirely under control. Due to the sensitive nature of the work being done here, we cannot provide more information. We appreciate uh, your understanding. A. This is security booth A. Come oh. in. Over. Hello. Uh, I'll take a nine, a small fry, no drink. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, I'm gonna have to write that one down. <laughs> you, you don't, it's not that hey, good. This is very good over in Buffet, <laughs> by the way. You're it's W. Right? You're a rant, right? In the flesh. Or, well, you know. How could you forget who I am? We've met so many times. That's me. Pleasure to officially meet you, my friend. Apologies for dragging my feet on making your acquaintance. 
I haven't been too keen on making new friends ever since Jenkins took over and fired a bunch of my buddies. Uh, that sucks. Don't you? Didn't you need something? That's all right. How long have you been out there? Why didn't you quit? It's heavy. Sorry about to hear about that. It ain't your fault. It's just okay. Between you and me, I was gunning for that CSO gig. Chief Security Officer Perry Good. <laughs> That's Perry what I Good. To it, don't you think? This is name and Perry Jenkins Good. Swoops in and brings down the hammer. Folks come and go all the time, but suddenly it's just a handful of us drowning in a sea of fresh faces. And they sweeten the pot a bit to keep me on board, but promotion or not, I'm still in this booth. I get first dibs on shift schedules, though. <laughs> Anywho, I could talk until your dang ears fall off, but duty calls. You might have heard, but Spencer over in booth C is MIA. And Jen from the central office is giving him the old welfare check. Can you do me a solid? These power fluctuations knocked loose another sector, and my authorization code's not coming through. I'm gonna walk you through how to authorize a power reroute, if that's so? cool with you. Once I unlock your terminal, just follow the prompts on the screen and enter the code you get from that annoying phone dude. <laughs> if your phone rings, that is. Phone guy? You ready, my friend? Snap now? Annoying phone, dude. Where's the screen? Uh, finally, some action. <laughs> Exciting. Yeah, I know. I love the All voice right. acting. Your terminal's unlocked. Just follow the prompts on the computer. Alrighty. Uh, and there's so much to read. Remember that really schlocky sci-fi movie we watched sophomore year at Ben's? Look what I found playing on TV last night. Maybe this will help you make Just make your shift less boring. Just do little box says on the computer terminal. Yeah, I know. say something about power reroutes and authorization codes. You can talk to me, you know. V. Okay. Uh, power reroute, critical power failure. Press spacebar to request reroute authorization code. I would like to pick up the... Will I pick up the phone? Oh. I thought, he, I thought I was calling someone. Welcome to the Barclay Institute Automated Phone Authorization System. Oh, no. Your authorization code for Booth B Power Here we go. Route is two, three, three, nine. If you did not request this authorization code, please hang. <laughs> please hang. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, I've done it. I've done it. You proud of me? Sweet. Thanks, my friend. I owe you one. By the way, you haven't seen a Ravine Rush disc laying around. I have! What the hell was that? Oh, damn. Do you see that smoke? Oh, That's over by Spencer's post. Uh, I'm gonna hightail it over where? there. See what's going on. Oh, my Keep God. On that power grid. <laughs> over and out. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> Not really sure what just happened there. Seems we're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Pardon our dust. We'll get cracking on fixing that flow so you can sit down. Excuse me. Open first aid kit. What is that? Is that a run banana in the first aid kit? I got an April Fool's achievement. April Fool's. What do you mean, April Fool's? There's a note behind there. Can I read that now? Oh, there you go. Wait, I got it. Uh, what the hell? Don't know the date anymore. No time to check. Holy shit, I found something huge. I can't even write about it here. It's too important, but soon. I don't know what it means yet. Blah, blah, blah. But doesn't matter. I know it means something. Phew, okay. Hey, are you there? Trying to read! Please answer me. Oh, God. Please. Yeah, I, I'm here. Hey, I'm here. Are you okay? Oh, thank God. I'm okay. For now. But things are real bad over here. Those, uh, unseen order people, the, uh, you know, that group that's always bothering us, they... Those goddamn cultists, more like it. Dr. Litman, please. <laughs> yeah, those somehow got into the facility and uh -oh. are trying to get to us in the central lab. Like, What's this fuck? goes way beyond the picketing and protests. The blast doors are engaged, but they're heavily armed, and we're not sure if the doors are gonna hold. But you're all right. You're safe? Uh, What's going on out there? Yes. What the fuck? I'm fine, but to hell with me. Are you able to get out of there? Uh... I'm really glad you're okay. And yes, I mean, I don't know. What? We can override the security protocols on one of the other doors, but those cultists interrupted our experiment. And we can't just leave 
things out in the open like this. Valerie, what are you still doing Thanks, here? Thanks, thank you for the I, thank you, sir. I, I, uh, you need to go. Oh, what about the... Valerie, you need to get that research somewhere safe. Go. We can handle the rest of the containment procedure. Uh, can you? Anton, are the pH levels stable yet? Yes. I just forgot to tell you. Paul, oh, I see. Oh. I don't know what you heard. Because we're too Williams wants me to get the core research out of the lab, but I can't just... Just go! If they don't secure everything... I can't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what to do. Oh, sounds like they need your help. You should stay. So, if Doctor Williams says you should leave, I would listen to him. Shit. Oh. I guess. Well, there's gonna be multiple endings for sure. <laughs> All right. You're right. What the fuck? Okay. What the hell? What way to build a <laughs> way to build a universe? Okay. Find the code losers. Wait. Blank blank five blank. Okay, we got one number. Never leave sensitive material unattended. You never know who's watching. Okay, let's read more of this. Uh I don't know what it means yet, but it doesn't matter. I know it means something. Phew. Okay, deep breath. Drink some water. It's not over yet. There's still so much to do. So much I have to do. They'll have to believe me when they see what I've found. Uh, got to be careful. New CSO is a huge pain in the ass. It's never been so strict around here. Can't risk losing my job now that I'm so close. This is my last entry. I don't need this notebook anymore. They'll see it and all soon. Back. And they'll have Dude, to believe please. when they see it. Dust they'll all see it. And random equipment malfunctions. I'll always find my way back to you because, listen, listeners, I have a ratified responsibility to bring you the bodacious beats you want. No, need. To here. And I got a live one coming at you in three, what? two, one. Oh, wait, where is her? Where is Valerie? We need, we have pins to move around and stuff? Wait, that's so cool. We can remember where people are. I'm in a room nearby. I don't think anyone saw me, but. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Oh, the suspense. Stop being so. Are you still with me? Take deep breaths. It's gonna be okay. Why is you be so sassy yeah. in a situation like this? Yeah, I'm... I'm trying to make myself believe that. What the fuck? Uh, should I be calling the cops? Right, take all the time you need. Well, maybe don't take too long. Uh, what happened to everyone? Should I be calling the cops? I don't think it's gonna help in this situation. Uh... I don't know. I was already through the door when those assholes broke in. I heard a lot of shouting, but... No shoots? I just no don't shooting? know. How did this happen? I mean, sure, they've been harassing us for months, protesting our research, sending us that weird package with all the scribbling on the outside. But no one thought those hippies were capable of something like this. Yeah, so what exactly goes on here that would lead them to this? Can't you just give them what they want? A heinous cult probably isn't here to talk. Let's get you to safety. It sounds like these folks want to work here more than I do. <laughs> Love that idea. I wonder if the hallways are clear. Rendezvous at the east exit. The time for the harvest has come. We offer ourselves to harvest. What the fuck? There are cultists. That's a big no on that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go room to room, but okay. I'm afraid I'll get lost if I try to navigate. Okay, by I can help you. Let me think. Hey, there's a map of the facility. Yes, in your exactly. Post, that right? was what I was thinking I need about. Your help to guide me out of here. Yes, yes, okay. To an exit. Just Where are you? Maybe not that one those cultists are meeting at for the yes. harvest, I think they said. Where and are you? Room to room. Capiche? Sure, absolutely. Got it. But where the fuck are you? What room are you in? Uh, okay. I don't know what room. Did you right answer? Okay. Got it. Uh, wait. Got it. Awesome, I think. <laughs> I suppose you'll need to know where I am. Yes. I'm in uh, room 207. I think that's in biology. Okay. Maybe you can use a spare push pin to keep track or something. Yeah, 207. I'll give you a sec to find where I am on the map. Okay. I I know where you are. Okay. And then where are the? So you're in 207. 207. Good stuff, man. I'm so into this. I found you. Are you good? Yes, I'm good. Uh. You repeat. It was 207, right? I'm not. I'm not stupid. Uh. Okay. Remind me. Yeah. But ready when you are. Har Harvest was east exit. Yes. Excellent. So 
Looks so don't like go there. Every direction, and I know the south door leads back to the central lab. Okay. I don't want to go that way. Okay, you so don't. Which direction do I need to go to start making my way to an exit? Well, if you want to, so you don't want to go south. So you you need to go. Uh, you need to go right from this, or do I say left? Like I don't know. Do I do I take it from her perspective or from my perspective? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, I, one second. I need to I need to check some of the settings because I think it's kind of. Her, I think I need to do this real quick. Because it was lagging the chat. Uh, oh god. There's a compass. I say, go west. Go west. Can I say that? Go west! Okay, nice. Okay, here goes. Oh god, please. Just as soon as I have an opening. Oh, I don't want them to go east. I, she doesn't want to go south, so then I'm gonna... West leads to both this and this. I think we're good. Okay. Uh, now that means I got some time to play whatever this is. Oh, this is the remote. Man, that's a nice lighting on this. Uh, anything else we got? Oh, we got a little, tiny little note back here. I really hope the others are okay. Yeah, I hope so too. I should never have left them. Oh, look at this. There's another code. Boo! Dude, this place is freaking cool. Okay, uh, you did the right thing, I promise. Can we just focus on getting you out of here? You did the right thing, I promise. I appreciate you saying that. And obviously, that's what you thought before. But why mince words? <laughs> I abandoned them. Jupiter. Jupiter. Sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it's like a crossword puzzle. Uh, or oh, not really crossword puzzle. What am I doing? Uh, it's not too late for you to help them, but you gotta get to safety first. I'm gonna have to save the research. What would staying have done? You shouldn't just leave people behind when they need you. Uh, I can't think about this right now. Uh, Mars. <laughs> Mercury. Sorry, I'm, I'm focused on... <laughs> Sorry, I get... Wait, I see Mercury. Mercury. <laughs> oh. oh. Dude, look at this. Nice ball. Any, any code we can find? Oh. Aha, there's definitely something underneath there. What's under there? Aha! Ammo to all personnel, to my wonderful- All right, I made it to the next room. Okay, okay, okay. where are you? It seems like the power is unstable. Can you still hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Loud and clear. You're breaking up, you piece of shit. Loud and clear. <laughs> next room, I guess two or six. The lights were flickering like when we'd run those photophobia tests. So rude. I hope those cultists don't. Phasmophobia tests? Never mind. I, I need to keep moving. Uh, cool. Let's just ignore everything that's bothering you. Agreed. One life-saving direction coming right up. Photophobia. What's that? Just do this. Much appreciated. Which way? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So she made it to the next room? Like, just one room over? Like, just this room? 206? Should we just keep going west? She can go... Or she can go north. And that would be... I mean, she could go to the north exit. That'd be really fast. That'd be like two steps away. If she goes room by room, I think I got, I got to send her north. Go north. Roger that. I'll head that way. Because otherwise, we're going to have to go so many steps before she can leave. Like, we have to go boom, 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 boom. This is just two steps and she's out. I think that's, that's much better. All right, let me continue uh, reading this. Oh. Hold on a sec. I think I hear some cultists nearby. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm gonna hide out in here until they pass. I don't know where. In this room? Let's just let's just do this. My wonderful, inspiring, hardworking Barclay family. It is what it, with a bittersweet heart that I must inform you that I will be leaving the Barclay Institute. Don't fret. It is not an unhappy departure I make. I have very recently become aware of information pertaining to an ancient Egyptian civilization that may be too vital to work. Oh. Biology labs. Home sweet home. Your biology lab? Huh. Smells like paint. Oh. oh. That's new. And creepy. A big... Yeah, of course the map shows doors. Right That's... On the wall. Must be their symbol. Oh, oh wait, but that means we can't the go this way, but she has I'm to go... It's like two steps. She can't go in here, but she can... She can go boom, boom. That's still super fast. I don't hear anyone anymore. It's like I a maze. You're trying to... 
cohort. Okay, so now you go west again. I mean, or I, I don't want this would be faster probably, but I think this is unsafe. But because then she can go boom, boom. Oh no, there's no door in between here, dude. What are these room layouts? Why is there why is there a hallway and then there's no way into the room? All right, so I guess when I send her west, is that gonna be this gonna be 102, right? I'm guessing it's not gonna be like this small room and then 102. I think I'm gonna do that. But anyway, I want to read this more. Uh, it's dude, I surmise this knowledge. Wait. Uh, the Egyptian civilization that may be vital to the work we are doing here at the Institute. I surmise this knowledge will lend. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to read! I, think I should lie low for a bit, though, before moving on. Okay. Whoever I heard can't have gotten too far yet. Okay, okay, okay. Now I can read. Wait. I want to mention how incredibly glad I am that you're here. I don't know what I'd do without you. And not just now, you know. I mean. Not saying my whole world would shatter into Aww. a million pieces if you skipped town, but, well, I'd be very sad. Oh, oh my god, stop before you embarrass yourself. It's now... I never meant to upset you. I know it wasn't exactly tactful. I never meant to upset you. Let's build this relationship. I know that. And I'm not trying to guilt you. I'm just... It's been a night. This is cool. My mind's been all <laughs> over the place. Let's forget it. Uh, we can talk about it later. Why? What's been going on tonight? You saying you're not trying to guilt me is a way of guilting me, you know. Why? What's been going on tonight? There's a fine line between comic relief and being an asshole. I was just trying to tell you I appreciate you. Excuse me? I was I not meaning to be- What? <laughs> How did he deliver that line? What did he say? Wait, what? <laughs> Did I just ask her how she was doing? <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean? <laughs> I just I just sincerely wanted to ask how she was doing. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, oh god, oh god, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You want me to, to go west, go west. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is that? Sounds good. I'll go I was way. genuinely interested. <laughs> Uh, like, I, I thought she was gonna say something about, like, an experiment she was doing or something like that. But anyway, I surmise the knowledge, this knowledge will lend great insights into the already cutting-edge research that we've accomplished over the past, past few years. And I can only imagine the life-changing experiences I will have in I Egypt. I think I should tell you what we've been researching here. That's what I was it trying to ask! me to have a better idea of our situation. Besides, if I'm right about what those cultists are after, it's not like we can ever go back from what this. What the fuck? NDAs be damned. It's just not something that's easy to explain, okay? So bear with me, <laughs> but I can't imagine how you react. Okay, here we go. What we've been studying here, what these people are here to Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. I can play ball. Let's go. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> Woo! Oh. This place is too fun! Whee! Okay, sorry, I gotta... What, what's going on? <laughs> oh, she's dead. Sorry, guys. Let's read this. We finally have time. Now that it's peace... Now we finally got some peace and quiet. It is my greatest desire that the Institute continue its work uninterrupted during my absence. To this end, I have deputized an indefatigable... The indefatigable... Dr. Spears to take charge in my stead. I trust you will all treat her with the same level of unwavering respect you have given to me. Dr. Lidfin will be stepping up as well to serve as second in command. Believe me when I say that I will miss all of you fondly, and I hope the new information I uncover in Egypt will be a boon to everyone here. Okay. Excuse me! It was quiet out there tonight. Oh, I thought the, the door... Kind of night where you can get lost. Holy I shit, I thought there was someone the at the door talking to me. Detach, drift, to go dance among the dreams, leaving brilliant trails of thoughts intertwined within. <laughs> is what I would say if I was one of those new age esoterics. Peace and quiet isn't what I'm here for, so what do you say we kick things up a notch? <laughs> oh. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Hello? Yes, I can. Uh, let there be light. What the hell happened? Are any of us really here? <laughs> Sorry, everything went out for a bit. Are you okay? Yeah, at least for now. Look, we don't have a lot of time. What I was trying to tell you before, I'll get to. But for now, you need to just 
Trust me. Just say it There's again! An animal on the loose. Oh. Those monsters must have let it out because I can hear it prowling around. Oh no. Are you with me so far? It's it's the SCP Foundation! So what a labyrinth, I think so. Keep going. Well, buckle up. So, the thing with this animal, it collects EMR, uh, electromagnetic radiation, oh, okay. in a sort of photosynthesis. It can redistribute that energy to destructively interfere or uh, um, cancel out various bands of the electromagnetic spectrum, including the portion of light that we can see. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> this one. It collects energy to uh, change what we see. Yes. Wow. Exactly. It does this to make itself invisible. It's a cloaking mechanism, or so we hypothesize. The power disturbances happen when this mechanism is activated, and I think those cultists just restored full power to the facility to encourage it to. Uh, <laughs> Wait, one second. Why is I want to hear more of the voices cuz the audio, the music is way louder than the voices. Uh you better pray it doesn't find you. So what can I do to help? Well, actually, I think you should be able to use that power reroute software on your computer terminal to track what sector it's in. Yes. Look for complete outages. Oh. Do you see anything on your Oh god. The lights just went out in the room I'm in. Oh my god. Check the two's warning. It's in the room next to me. Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Oh my god! His strength is also his weakness. I really, Blue. really hope this works. What are you but doing? If you can reroute the power to this sector and get the lights back on, okay. it I might can. become disoriented and flee. Fucking get me a code already! <laughs> this sector? Like sector one? Because it's the only sector that's offline. But she's in sector two. I think it's outside the door. I'm trying to help. To get the power on? I'm trying, but the fucking phone is not picking up. Oh wait, I gotta pick up. I thought I, <laughs> I keep thinking that I'm calling, like I'm pressing spacebar to call, but I have, I'm pressing spacebar to receive a call. It's like it, my brain doesn't work like that. <laughs> like I think I'm doing the calling, but I'm getting called. <laughs> so annoying. Welcome to the Barclay Institute Automated Code Authorization. Yeah, I'm trying! I'm sorry! Code <laughs> 4, Booth B, Power Reroute, is 3, 3, 1, 3. What's if going you did on? not request it. I got it! Okay, restore power. Oh. Uh, what the fuck? What am I doing? What is happening? What the fuck is going on? Flashback! What's going on? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Wait, what? This is extremely cool. This is a big facility. I'm underselling the place, honestly. Barclay is amazing. We just got... Oh, hi, Dr. Spears. I hope you had a great Christmas. It's good to be back. <laughs> I'll be a few minutes late to lab prep, just showing our new security guard here the ropes. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we just got a DNA sequencer. The AB370A, which I know probably means nothing to you because, <laughs> well, why would it? But this whole facility is state of the art. Cool. They put you in booth B, right? That's the delivery checkpoint. And between you and me, you got one of the better security shifts. The nights are quiet. You can really soak in the atmosphere. I think you'll be able to settle for a while. And your vagabondic ways. <laughs> Is that a word? Let's go. It's very oh, cool. Oh, I've got a walkie-talkie. Technically, it's for emergencies only, but I'm sure no one will mind if I uh, appropriate it for a quality gab sesh. Oh God, did I just say gab sesh? <laughs> Yeesh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yeesh. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh! <laughs> You're gonna do great. We're gonna do great. Sheesh. Really. I promise. Valerie, please. <laughs> but uh, we did it! All systems seem normal. Got a three months ago achievement? Okay, I've done it. Do I need to talk to you or do we finally get the ground? Wow. Just. Wow. It's gone. 
that was close. Fascinating, you know, from a scientific standpoint, but way too close. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You saved my life. Seriously, thank you. What a rush. <laughs> <laughs> this is what a rush. You almost died. All right. I'm ripping off this band-aid. That thing? Yes. It's an alien. <gasps> it is Area 51. Space, source unknown. John Carpenter, Kilopet Nightmare Hell Monster. What the fuck? <sighs> Holy shit, that feels good to say. <laughs> All right, back, back it up. You're definitely pulling my leg. I'm sorry, what? And why didn't you say before tonight? Because she is under NDA. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Alien. <laughs> Completely bonkers, right? You have no idea how hard it's been to keep this from you. E.T. phone home. I wish you hadn't two bonkers if you asked me. You're definitely pulling my leg. It would just... I wish you hadn't told me. I wish you hadn't. I don't... Well, none of these are good. I don't like any of these. Uh... I wish you hadn't... E.T. phone home. <laughs> sure. Elliot. <laughs> I wish it was E.T. so it could fly me out of this mess on a magic bicycle. Okay, this Come on, I know you have at least a million questions. I did when Dr. Spears brought me on board. What does it look like? Where did it come from? Does its internal biology work like ours? What if it doesn't? What if it does? But lay it on me. Okay, is it hot? Like, is it a hot and <laughs> Do you know where it comes from? Why would a cult want to let it out? What does it look like? Okay, imagine like a praying mantis. Okay. But one that was crossbred with a center for the nuggets. It's oddly familiar. Not like bug-eyed gray Roswell aliens or the xenomorph, but it's not hard to imagine there might be one of us sedated being studied by one of them somewhere. Nuggets? There's an intelligence there. I mean, I've seen its brain. It's marvelously unknowable. Huh, we always speculated it moved around upright. It was decloaking as it fled, and I didn't see much, but maybe we were wrong. Whew. Wow. Ramble much, Valerie? Sorry. Well, no, I'm not. Let's pick this up later when I get out of this place. That's cool. Anyway, Curly, the, um, alien, <laughs> You're going fled in into curly? the vents, but I'm sure it'll come back. You'll have a better shot at knowing how close it is to me with your computer, so just be ready on those keys for your big solo. <laughs> or... Power reroute, just to be clear. Yes. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Next direction, please. Okay, so she should be there. So we're gonna send her up. We're gonna send her up north. Weird. What if you forget I'm at any point sure where she... no door there. Excuse me! I'm going west. Remember, there. keep checking that power grid, especially if you notice any fluctuations. Wait. She started in really seven. She went west. Then we went north. I feel like Ellen Is she? Oh, she's here. in this tiny room. Except I don't have a oh, that's what I was so, wondering if she would go there. Water. Okay, whatever. You know the drill. Okay, that's fine. Uh, then, then she's gonna go into the room I, w I thought she was in anyway. <laughs> okay, so. That's what I asked, like, earlier. That is apparently an uh, actual... Uh, Boof B? This is... This is Perry, my friend. <laughs> Looks like everyone flew the coop from Spencer's post. Door was unlocked and the lights were on, but that's it. That explosion, though? Still don't have eyes on what caused it. Even with the binocs. <laughs> Whatever spewing's a bit further past the hills. Maybe off of one of the service roads. I can see on Spencer's terminal here, you just authorized the power reroute. So I know you're home, at least. Yes. Everything cool? Everything cool. Uh, Perry, there's an alien loose in the facility. <laughs> I should probably not say that. Just a routine power reroute, nothing out of the ordinary. Hear me out, this cult cultist broke into the facility. Wait a minute. You telling me those Hidden Valley folks or whatever busted their way into Barclay? All right, all right. Better make my way over to the facility. See what's up. You best stay <laughs> oh, no, he's gonna get killed! Like you got your hands full with power reroutes. I hope Jen and Spencer are all right. No, Perry! I just went to check out whatever exploded. Huh, that's 
probably them right now. Well, it's that painted on the side of... Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, not them. Not them. Cultists. Cultists with guns. Cultists with guns. Damn. Okay, uh, I've talked myself out of plenty of sticky situations before. Uh, okay, uh, don't really have a... Oh, no. <laughs> hey, my friends. <laughs> oh, no. What the fuck? Stop it. This is not the music for the situation. Perry's about to die. And we need to read what this says. I'm your new chief security officer, Michael Jenkins. Please address me by my name. Do not call me chief boss or as... Wait, what? Helicopters. Uh oh, Perry might be dead. Or as some of you... Pre <laughs> or as I understand, some of you called the previous CSO dead. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to improving the security and serenity we'll of the Barclay that. Institute. No okay, in Dad. <laughs> flying at you like a freight train. Just one thing after another until before you know it, you're looking back, brain boggled, and wondering where all that time went. We haven't read that one. Well, don't despair, my far out friends. I'm the conductor of this here tune train, and I say it's time to temper the tempo and treasure the tubular times we've had. Focus on that now and savor that flavor. Uh, All aboard, adventurers. Chugga chugga choo choo. This fucking guy. Oh my god, what is that? Let's first read the. Oh. Putting one foot in front of the other, and voila! I made it. Okay. I must be close, right? I feel like. Yes. I gotta be. I can taste it. Yes, you're close. You gotta go north. Uh, what difference does it make? Your taste supposed to be broken then? You're close, I promise. I knew it. Oh, I can't wait to see the sky above me. There's a full moon tonight. Yes, there and is. We're not out until we're out. Which way now? Okay. Uh, which way now? So we get to center north, right? North? She's in that room north of 101. Works for me. Okay. Boom, boom. And then the monster is gone for now, so we click her. We click the monster back. You know, I've had this feeling all night that I'd imagined this exact scenario before, and it finally just hit me. That book you gave me, the Roswell incident. I gave it another read not too long after moving here. It felt appropriate. Alien cover-up conspiracy, secret research bases, the works. It made me think about what would happen if the world found out about the research we were doing, or if the alien were to escape. Alright, I was I was fixing the shit. My controls no laughing matter. It's the least I could do. Next time you dream up something like this. I'm trying to look out for you now, but your rambling isn't helping. Hey, maybe after tonight you can write the Barclay incident. <laughs> oh, you're the writer. Have okay, you we fixed it. Ghost writing? I'll take the fame and fortune, sure, but <laughs> how does 10% of the profit sound? Anyway, rereading that book was what gave me the idea of having you come out here. I guess Put I thought it'd away. be fun to live in the same place again. No more if only smoking. Only give me something boring and impersonal like a gift card. Maybe we would have fallen out of touch, and you'd still be safe and sound in your cabin in Alaska. Really no. Oh, this is one's burning. I should probably keep it in there. All right. <laughs> should probably not start a fire in my own room. That would be bad. Uh, okay. Which tap do you prefer? Which tap do you prefer your room temp water to come from? Cold or hot? What are you talking about? Cold? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my god, what is this? Uh, first solo night shifts. Perry says 99% of the job is staying conscious. For some reason, I thought this old note. Oh, it's gonna take us a while to read that one, huh? Oh, my mouse is stuck. Oh no, I fucked up. There's someone in the oh, room. my mouse! I, 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 know, I know somebody's there, please. Please. Please, I need help. He no, really I broke hard. the game. Oh, please. Oh, there we go. I fixed it. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, it could be a cultist. Just keep moving. Better go see. It could be a cultist. Maybe. And what if it's not? I mean, can you? Can I'm coming you... over. Oh no, no! <laughs> no, where are you going? 
Really go over? Okay, we read more. Uh, oh, something went out, something went out, something went out. Oh boy. It's sector seven, so we're fine. Oh my god. He's just a kid. Oh no. He's torn wide open. Hey, I'm here, okay? Oh boy. What am I? Am I not I requesting? To try to slow the bleeding. This isn't gonna feel too great. Oh, What's it's your charging. Name? Joseph. Oh. 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 Joseph. Oh. My name's Joseph. Oh. Oh. Um, it was supposed to be painless. The harvest. The harvest. Oh, he is a cultist. Did you shoot at it? What? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not armed. You said I wouldn't need to Welcome be. Welcome to the Far Play Institute Automated Bone oh, Authorization System. Your authorization code for the are Our leader uh, is. What's four, your name? Uh, one. Eight. Three. Valerie. My name is Valerie. I'm here for you, Joseph. I need you to think of something happy. What's your favorite, um, flavor of ice cream? Ice cream? Uh, our, our, uh Rocky Road. I, I, I haven't had it in so, <laughs> so long. Oh, no. Hey, hey, great choice. Though, I'm more of a rum raisin fan myself. How much money? The dissenter foretold that this night would be beautiful. All of us together, but, but where? Where are my brothers and sisters? <laughs> they left me here too. Joseph, Joseph, stay with me. Uh, you need to stay awake. Think about we... a big bowl of rocky road. How good that first spoonful is. Am I, Am I saved? What? What? Please say yes. This is yes. fucked up. What the hell? Thank you. He's dying. It's eyes. It's eyes. Oh, power. It's charging. Oh, fuck. He's dead. He's gone. Damn. I... I mean, he did kind of cause it, so... I need a minute. Oh. Fuck. Okay, we're reading this. Uh, oh no, we can talk. We can say, we can say, like, get some support. Sorry, poor kid. What do you mean? Uh, I'm sorry. You did everything you could, but now you should keep moving. Play deadly games when. Shut the fuck up. Can you just give me a minute? Like I just said, I need a minute. God. Trying to be supportive. I'm sorry. I <laughs> shut up. Okay, I guess. Uh, wait, what am I reading? First solo night shift, Perry says 99% of the job is staying- I mean, having a kid die in your arms gives you the right to have be sassy. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, for some reason, I- or for some reason, I thought this old notebook might help with that. I think I used it in AP bio, because there are some two- Okay. Now. Time to read! To <laughs> okay. Okay, you go, uh, east. East. Stay in the rooms. East. Okay, we gotta Whatever fix this. Welcome to the Barclay Institute Automated Phone Authorization System. Your authorization code for Booth B Power Reroute is six, six, four, five. If you did not repeat. Woo! I'm glad I got the reroute, because that would have been a problem. Okay. Music. All right, I have to turn it off for a sec. Uh, so she moved. She moved to this room. Oh, excuse me? Did we just break my window? Excuse me! Is my window broken? I don't really see enough glass. Oh, oh no, my mug just broke. What? My mug just exploded? Excuse me. 
<laughs> what? Why did my coffee cup explode? <laughs> what happened? I didn't touch it at all. What the fuck? I'm confused. Okay, anyway, I guess we're reading more. Uh, uh, I think I used an AP biology because there's some cho choice doodles in here, but bet I can kill an hour flipping through it if I go real slow. Manuel said I should write a tell-all story about Barclay Expose and expose what they do here. I turn around, I think oh, I went no. the wrong way. Oh my god, you- I'm in room 102. Wait, that's- I just go back, but I don't want to take any chances with Curly roaming around. How did you- I need a direction. You're stupid! Go! Wait, what? What are you talking about? Wait, excuse me. Oh, which which sector is fucked? The sector 3 is looking kind of dangerous. Uh, let's just go north again! What the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> sure. You, you were here. We had this. We already went through this. Okay, anyway, whatever. Um, okay, read more. Uh, Manuel said I should write a tell-all story about Barclay. Expose what they do here. Nobody knows, so it has to be something weird. As if. The weirdest thing that's happened so far was the power going out last week. Sometimes he asks me about work, and I just shrug. What am I supposed to tell him? Ma says he looks up to me, and I need to talk to him more, but half the time, I don't even know what to say. Let's fix the power now, though. There's so much multitasking here. I'm just trying to... Oh, I can't. It's still charging. Um... All right, here's what I'm going to do. Make some stuff up and tell him it's part of my big investigation. If he thinks it's dumb, well, at least it'll help me stay awake. Wait, this is how he got- this is how he got fired? <laughs> this is how he got killed? By making up something that was too real? The Dark Secrets of Barclay Institute, as imagined by yours truly. It's a top secret government facility where they train rock stars to be sleeper agents. Po like a Zoola <laughs> Zoolander. Power surge. They blew out their amps. Oh. Okay. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I need to do this though. I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, I need to talk to you too. Fuck. Okay. Uh, everything okay? I'm multitasking everything, man. I gotta do all. I gotta do all this stuff. Welcome to the Barclay Institute Automated. Then I talk to her. Why didn't she say anything? Your authorization code for Booth B Power Reroute is nine. One, five, zero. Okay, nice. What is going on? Are you okay? Hello? My uh, colleagues are dead. Oh my god. I just tried you know? to save one of their murderers and he thanked me as he bled out on the floor. Jesus. This isn't the same place. I barely even know where I am. Why are you getting so lost? No career, no purpose, nothing. Nobody. What's the point? No, no, no. Don't talk like that. And you. I've been blindly trusting you this whole time. Because I no, have no choice. don't turn this around on me! I've been lying on you. My life? The only thing left intact tonight? In the hands of... Who? Who are you? What the hell is that supposed to are mean? Are the person who gave me a foil-wrapped copy of the Roswell incident? Oh. Because that person would have talked to me before they made the decision to leave. That person would have had the decency to consider my feelings. You I didn't make that choice, okay? That I'm solving the problems of this fucking guy. So I can't even see my own damn feet. Stop blaming me for what all this garbage. You deciding to leave me high and dry like this. High and dry, if it means so much to you, uh, we can finish the conversation once you're in safety. Yes, it sucks, I know. Uh, it sucks, I know, but I can't wave a magic when. when let's just do this one. How convenient an excuse my well-being is, huh? It's oh my, my life on God. the line, so I kind of feel like I get to choose when we have this discussion. You if you're so worried about me, it shouldn't take too long. But hey, I, I want to have the discussion, but they're not giving me the dialogue option, so what am I supposed to do? <laughs> it's not because of me, right? Uh, what if it was? Not everything is about you. <laughs> it's not you, okay? It's just I'm going off instinct, a feeling. I guess this? This one is rude. This one is also not going to be better. This one. A feeling. 
Well, what does that mean? Can you try to explain it? Some things are just personal. Please understand that. It's not worth the effort. I wish I had the words, but I'm afraid you won't understand me. That's what I've been afraid of. It's just, I don't know. I'm feeling scared. It's embarrassing. One of these. This one is she's gonna flip it around on me and be like, Wait, so you don't trust me? I thought we. Blah, 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 blah. Is that it? It's not embarrassing to feel the things you feel. Besides, there you, you have go. people in your life to help with that. You have me. It's my You say the same thing without blaming friend. her for I being can a to misunderstanding walk away from that you. Whenever I want. I haven't. I don't want to. We're in this together. Okay, this is starting to feel a bit after- This is truly Firewatch, by the way. You're right, I'm sorry. No more secrets. We'll figure this out as best friends. Keeping secrets was wrong. The one to leave wasn't. Regardless, you're still my friend. I know I wasn't being fair. After all, you're the reason I'm out here. I should have let you in. Let's just do this. Yeah, we need to rewrite the power, but there's so much shit going on! Oh. And maybe I don't fully understand- Oh no, it's a sector two! But keep that door open for me to try, okay? I want to help you find whatever you're looking what? for. Excuse me! Did I- what? What? What the fuck? Did it hang up? <laughs> She's dead! Wait, turn on the computer. Turn the computer off and on I again. that's out of the way. Let's get me out of here. Okay, I want okay. a future with my friend. Dude, what is happening? I'm gonna Better guess. There's only- Alright, I'm guessing real quick. Submit. Can you give me a code, dude? What's happening? Uh, oh god, uh, you're in room 102, go west, or east, sorry. I think it's fucked up. Great, heading there now. I think it's fucked right up. Back. Did the stream just go down? Uh-oh. Reconnecting. It seems like it went you know down in real life. To tickle my soul. I got an achievement called You've Got a Friend in Me, YouTube. Amicably resolve things with Valerie achievement. I'm gonna have to wait for a sec, though, because YouTube or Twitch is gone so give me a moment <laughs> welcome back welcome back everyone uh i just got an achievement uh oh i just got an achievement called you've got a friend in me amicably resolve things with valerie i'm a good guy i've done it everybody refresh we're okay we're okay guys i repeat we are okay by the way youtube get ready for the next five minutes to just be why is the stream down instead of people being like normal people and clicking refresh it's uh, <laughs> get ready for it anyway we're gonna continue now back to work friendship people flocking together from all walks of life brain what the fuck athletes, i think she's dead i think she's dead people. i think she's dead i think i fucked up because i what happened with the phone code well, that's that you probably thought there'd be a more satisfying cessation i suppose we did drop the ball on that a bit tonight but that's the beauty of radio. What's going on? These waves aren't going anywhere. Everything is so fucked. So there's always a chance to try again. To rectify our missteps and be a part of the change we want to see. But listeners, until that fateful time comes and I'm with you again, I bid you an adoring adieu. Adieu. The night belongs to you now. For better. How is the radio worse. working? Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, finally. Is everything okay? Sit. Systems are normal. Excuse me. Are we back? What? What's going on? You're off the clock. Tie up any loose ends before officially ending your shift. Did she die because the phone? So what happened? Did I? I must have clicked it twice and hung up this. Why can you hang up the security authorization code? It doesn't mean anything. That's so dumb. Wait. I'm. I'm. I'm dead. I. We lost. I'm confused. What's going on? Can we leave? I'm really confused what's happening. Wait, how do I? You resolved your argument with Valerie. I think she's dead. I think we fucked up. Yeah, she was in the same place with the alien. That's why I tried to fix the, the power, but it didn't work. I think we're gonna have to... How do I end? How do I get out of here? Uh, don't tell me I have to restart all the way from the beginning. Is there a reload? Last autosave. I think we're gonna end shift and then go back to the last autosave. Because this is three minutes ago, right? End shift. Yes. End shift. And then go, go start again. Uh oh. Please tell me I can restart it now. Let me out of here. Okay. 
Let me fix this. You know what never nice, we can. Okay, soul. it's fine. It's fine. We're all good. People flocking together from all walks of life. Brains, okay, we're good. Athletes, Welcome to the Barclay Institute people, Vampire. I don't know what that was all about. You get the idea. Your Folks can be very different from each other, but the point is, it's all about appreciating the beauty nine, in those differences two, and building something one, new from it. Nine. And that's something worth pursuing. Worth cherishing. Okay, we've done it. So this next one goes out to all the friends out there. Keep clinging on to that camaraderie and making life lovely. I really hope they made these songs like these songs are copyright free. I'm gonna assume they are. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to mute them, which would suck. But. <laughs> this is actually kind of cool. Right. It's an R&D lab for some big food chains where they develop the next generation of congealed meats. Our surge equals massive Bologna overload. <laughs> Let's go. Is this because we made up with with Valerie? Because oh, sorry. Because uh oh wait yeah look I got an achievement. <laughs> I got an achievement for killing her. So I got the this achievement. You've got a friend in me. I make a believe resolve things with Valerie, and then immediately I got curlied. Oops. I got a oops achievement. <laughs> okay, anyway. But we did it. <laughs> this is a really cool game. Oh, there's so much stuff to read here. I'm going to read it all. Oh. oh, the power. She okay now? Sorry. There we go. I'm... Never mind. <laughs> this is music keeps going. It's a good song. I didn't kill her. She's okay. This is so cool. Look at the moon. It's so big. The moon is not that big in the sky. What? <laughs> this is really cool. What an atmosphere, man. Wait. Oh, is it turned off? Oh, it's on. Oh, there right. we go. You'll never believe what I'm about to ask you, but got another direction for Yes, me? okay, where are you? So you're there, so we go... Finally, I can now make you go west or east. And you can not fuck it up this time, please. You got it. Okay, don't go backwards and make us wait forever again. But actually go east, please. Hey. In case I didn't say it, or didn't say it enough, thank you. You've been my lifeline tonight, and Aww. I don't want that to be lost with everything else. But will you do me one more favor? I forget Could to you, check the power yet, yeah, sure. If something happens yeah. to me, can you tell my family? No. Uh, can you let my parents know that I love them, and I miss them, and I'm, I'm sorry I didn't visit more, and that I'm not there now? Maybe phrase it a bit better for me, but you know what I mean. Oh, I don't know. That sounded pretty much perfect to me. Tell them yourself when you get out of there. Let's do. It won't be necessary, okay? But I would, of course, I would. Yes. Thank you. You're a good friend. They always loved you. God, it's powers eight, six, and two. Okay, only okay. click once. Good. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the oh, Play Institute Automated Phone Authorization System. Your authorization code for Boost B Power Reroute is seven, six, two, three. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we did it. What the hell? The song's too good. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. Alrighty. Anyway. I hope I hope YouTube got to enjoy that too, and I didn't have to mute it a bunch. That would be. I have an extra ear that would be for you, my ardent adherents, because things are about to undulate towards the unorthodox. Our intern Brad, great kid, a little overzealous, but we love him, has been exploring the experimental in his spare time. He's been exhorting me to give the extended version of his latest Paragon of Euphonics some airtime. I can't say I'm hip to this stuff. It's actually cars? But we're a family what, here at KZRU, what do you do? and I'll be a ghost adrift in this desert before you find me standing in the way of the artistic pursuits of tomorrow's visionaries. If nothing else, I have a feeling oh. that this next one will provide a symphony of serenity to soothe some insomniac souls. 
until the cold night gives way to morning light. <laughs> Brad, why are your shoes off again? <laughs> Brad! No, I'm not kidding. Why are they off? We've talked about this. Got that, Brad? What are you doing? Okay, anyway, I, I have to read some stuff. Please let me read some stuff. Okay. Uh, it's an R&D lab for some big food chain where they develop the next generation of congealed meats. Power surge equals massive Bologna overload. Exclusive members only mall for the super rich. Power surge equals fire at the smoothie bar. <laughs> Absolutely nothing interesting. Just a boring research center for like plants or something. Power surge equals we're in the middle of nowhere and the power lines suck out here. They go out all the time in town too. Doodle nowhere. Tumbleweed. And then we got a bunch of things over here as well uh oh we read jane doe found dead you to understand miss munos there's a way that things have been done by those in positions of authority throughout history to conclude one's obligations this place is well it's far from too late for you uh -oh. it's not too late for you either dr spears Oh, he's I, in on it! My friend on the line, the, the security guard. It's a new... We're getting out of here. It's the new security what? officer, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, of course. Can I ask you... Uh, oh, don't look at me. I can get you both out, both out safe. I don't doubt that. You seem competent enough. Ms. Munoz, they don't call it life's work for nothing. I made my sacrifice decades uh -oh. ago. Your life's work is hurting people. Wait, who was was I part of that sacrifice? Carly almost killed me. You, you saw him? Marvelous. Uh, tell me, did, did he try to communicate with you? Uh, what were his movements guy? like? Dr. Spears. Yeah. Didn't you hear me? It's dangerous. It's, it's nothing like we thought. Please, you need to come with me. Welcome to the My Mark sincerest apologies that you had to experience system. that. Your authorization code for you're here. Booth B, power and reroute, I'm here. is four. I've been waiting my whole life for a chance to observe him outside of stasis. Eight. I can't think of another place I should be. The culmination of a lifetime of research has led to... I have all the research right here. This, us, is all that's left. What am I supposed to do with all this by myself? Sure, let's all line up to meet the homicidal alien. Tell her, Valerie. Valerie, just go. This is pointless. Listen to Valerie, Dr. Spears. She's lost enough tonight. Valerie, just go. This is pointless. Just go. Oh my god. More you power outages? Have the research with you. Oh no. Yeah, what's no. critical? We followed your protocol. We can start over. You don't have to go down with the ship. Uh oh. No. The research is far more than just a career. Pattern. I am its guardian. Oh, if no. it leaves these walls, it'll metastasize. I don't want to. No, I, I can't let you be responsible for that. I, I wouldn't can't find have Uranus. to be if you just came with Where's me. Where's Uranus? <laughs> I'm, I'm tired, Valerie. There was a time I wanted uh, you to carry on this research after me, but Uranus. Not there we go. <laughs> let the burden end here. You have a whole world outside of Barclay. Uh, Your Venus? little friend there is proof enough of that. There we go. You don't need to coddle me. I chose this life for myself. Your work. And look what good that's done for you now. If you take the research with you, you, you live the rest of your life fearing what could happen if it fell into the wrong hands. If you leave it behind, well, it, it's no longer your duty. <sighs> but it, it's irrelevant. I won't be around either way. That's not fair. <sighs> Are you still there? Did you hear all that? Yes. She's <sighs> not coming with It's okay. She's made that clear. Yes. But the research, what do I do with it? Take do it. I leave it with her or take it with me? Take it. Destroy the only evidence of aliens on this planet? No way. Dump it, start a new life, change your name. She sounds like she has her best. You risk your life for that research. I don't think I can make this. Take it. Destroy. It. No way. I need to do power. It's less about the alien and more about the discoveries we've made in the field of biological and. Yeah, take mind. it. You're right. Dr. Spears. I'm taking the research yes. with me. Okay. 
I'll protect it now. This is my life's work too, and I don't want to see it destroyed. Some things Welcome are just to the too Institute monumental. Phone authorization system. <sighs> Alien is right there. Code four. Okay. Power reroute. I trust you is to make the right decisions seven, with the knowledge you have. Eight. Zero. Consider the baton passed. Four. Oh no. Please be advised that follow appropriate procedures. You better get moving. I know. Which way, my little friend? Okay. Um. You go east one more step. <clears throat> There's no door that way, and I don't think I'll have much luck trying to break through these walls. Wait, what? 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 How does she move? I don't understand. Wait, what? So what happened? She went back to 102 at one point. Actually, huh? Is she into? Does she skip the middle room? Did she skip this room? I'm so confused. Cause earlier she said there was. Going west. So early, what? Going west? Dr. Spears, thank you. What is happening? <laughs> everything. I don't understand. So. I couldn't have asked for a better partner in all this. Now, go. Everything is in your hands. There is a door there. Goodbye, Miss Mianos. She started in 207. I made her go this way. Then I made her go up. Then I made her go this way, which I assume she was already in 102 at this point. So I said, go north. She said there was no door there. I'm going to go, I'm going to go uh, west. So she went to 102. Then I said, go north. We said, go north. It's weird to think she's just a room away. Then I said, go, uh, go east. I assume she went into the middle room because earlier she did, but then she didn't. She went to 201 immediately, and then she went back when I said that she should go. I don't understand. How does she move? It's so stupid. Might as well be a thousand light years. You know, Just tell I me where you are. Her. I mean, I came for the work, this extraordinary opportunity, but... I don't think the I'd power, have yeah, but we can't if it reset. hadn't been for her. Her brilliance. Just a revolutionary mind. And and none of the big ego you usually come across with people in her position. Did she go back now? Especially the men. <laughs> Is she in 10? I could tell from all the interviews room? I read of hers and, and the accounts of people who'd worked with her. And when I finally met her, it had nothing to do with <laughs> glory. It was the, the the passion for discovery, the childlike wonder. She nourished it in all of us. It was also personal. And appreciate and say I appreciated her getting you into the situation a little too personal. It seems I'm not sure I consider choosing to die at the hands of my my life's work as anything but egotistical. That must have been so hard for you back there. Let's be empathetical with her. This is not our our problem. Yeah. This is her emotions. Well, <laughs> I guess that all makes sense in a very tonight kind of way. But I'll tell you what, she's right about me. I've got people. You, my parents. She's content being Ahab. I'm getting out. Hit me with that next direction. Okay, I have... Just tell me where the fuck you are at this point, because I have no clue where you are. Like, <laughs> do I go... Do I send her back east? Like, what do I do at this point? I have no idea where she is. I think I'm going to go east and then just north next time. Sounds like a plan. It's so stupid. So she skips this room this time. Previously she didn't, but this time she does. I, it's so dumb. <laughs> no looking back. We're keeping it light. We're getting excited for the future. The year is 1993. Five springs have passed since the infamous events at the Barclay Institute. As a first-hand witness and now well-established film auteur, you've been asked by a major studio <laughs> to write and direct the film power, 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 power. of the real life events. How do you do it? What's your approach? Well, I have to, to talk the to you. Play Institute automated phone authorization system. Your authorization code for Booth B power reroute oh, is. That's chump change. Shoot eight, for a billion. Seven. One hundred billion. Eight. What's the style? Eight, what are you thinking? I'm fucking trying to save your life here at the same time while you're talking to me about fucking making a movie about this garbage. Actually, actually, film canceled. It's a multi-camera sitcom now. Oh, it's gonna be a feel-good movie of the summer. Ask John Carpenter. 
I'm gonna let him direct instead. Borderline. <laughs> that. All right, all right. So something like altered states, perhaps. Who plays the lead? Me, that is. Who plays me? Okay. Oh no, more power outages. Uh, obviously you'll be playing yourself. <laughs> what? Wait, I never agreed to this. <laughs> I demand to see a contract. Hey, we're being cute right now. We're being cute in the middle of fucking zombie or alien apocalypse. <laughs> okay, the alien is at least far away, so we should be all right. Anyway, success. Another word. Oh no. Oh, turn on the light. Oops. As I was trying to say, another room down. Okay. To clarify, we're just ignoring that neurotoxin alert, right? I guess. You heard the lady. No time to waste. So now go north. I guess. What do you got for me? North. Will do. Okay. Is she gonna be leaving now? Where is she? Wait, so if she just went north, there's no way she's not there. Because none of the other rooms... So, okay. She wasn't 101. We know that uh, for sure. 100% sure. Then we made her go uh, east a bunch. And she went west a bunch as well. So there's no way she's like anywhere but on this row. So, like she's only moved in this direction. So she can only be here if north is an option. So she must be there. Unless she's somehow... She can't be in 201, 203 because there's no door between those. So, this must have been... What were we just talking about? There she is. Oh, right. Her award-winning film. You better not put my name in the special thanks section, by the way. I deserve a producer credit after... <laughs> after... After... After I get out. The door? What comes after all this? Oh. I suppose we'll both be looking to relocate. Any ideas where you'll go? What's ever next? We're in it together. I like that. I'm Aww. glad to hear you say that. You really don't need to live your life according to me, but I would obviously be happy if we end up in the same place again. Awesome. Couldn't turn out <laughs> any worse than this did, right? What do you think you'll do? Uh, sell my life story, retire to Hawaii. <laughs> I really want a chance to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Me every time I have to pee during a stream and it's one hour left and I can't go. Uh, I'll need to finish my current script before starting on our film, right? I'll go anywhere. I can marathon some sci-fi movies. <laughs> Must be a little... Oh. I'm so relieved to know that this experience hasn't ruined sci-fi for you. I might Welcome need to a the few days automated phone month, authorization system. before I'm ready to watch people fight off for fictional aliens for entertainment, but is two, when I'm ready, I definitely six, know who to call. Three, six. If you did not play. Thank you. I missed this. Feels like when... Um... I can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> Guess I can't keep myself distracted with banter forever, huh? Probably best to keep moving. When have you ever backed down from a challenge? You won't need that. You're almost out. There'll be plenty more banter in our future. I promise you. When have you ever backed down from a challenge? I think that's the type of relationship these people have, for sure. Yeah. <coughs> um, oh, right. Fuck me. One sec. You what? By the way, we're gonna read all of the notes, like, if we finish the game. Because we've been talking so much, like, there's no time for me to read anything. I'm gonna make sure to read all the notes. Uh, but I just want to make sure she doesn't die. <laughs> I think, I guess we can read some of this. What is this? Jane Doe found dead. Sheriff has yet to identify woman. Says signs point to foul play. By Sydney Lauber, staff reporter. The body of an unidentified woman was discovered late last Wednesday... Off the shoulder of northbound Highway 25. A trucker called the... Oh. It's the exit. Let's go! Oh my God. We did it! Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. See? It really so made no sense how this worked, but we did it. That's a promise. But I'm not spending another godforsaken second in this hellhole. 
Sayonara, Barclay, as Director Spellman would put it. See you on the other side. I kind of got to miss you because I don't. Please tell me we're going to get more talking time. Hello? You, stop. Oh, Show no. Oh, wait, no. Wait, I'm with Barclay. Did any of the other scientists. Searcher. What, what, what are you doing? That's my. Oh, bed. no, she's going to steal the research. No. There's important stuff in there. You need to comply. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Uh oh. Oh. Saved her. Now, <laughs> it's all coming together. Like I was trying to tell your buddy, I'm with Barclay. My name is Valerie Munoz. I'm part of the core research team. One of the booth security guards helped me escape. These ain't my buddies. <laughs> Bunch of hotheads get called in when shit goes south. Save my head, but they don't do no killing with kindness, if you know what I mean. Say, did you mention one of the booth guards guided you out? Wouldn't happen to be the one from Booth B, would it? <laughs> hey. uh, yeah, actually. Hey, hey my friend. Let's go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't you laughs> for sore eyes? I love this game. Uh, I, I guess a, a, a sound for, for sore ears. Right? As, huh. <laughs> hey, aren't you popular? <laughs> I thought I was your only friend out here. You must have had a productive night. <laughs> so have some words sure, just to finish. First time for everything. Glad you're safe, Valerie. Right back at you. My walkie's almost out of juice, but I'll come find you, okay? You better, not like the I one from Firewatch. Excuse me? This can fall out of the sky. Interference, dead air. I got an achievement called Escape. Uh, wait, I gotta reload this. I got uh, two achievements. I got, uh, achievement, lead Valerie to safety, and I got, with a parry on top. Nice work, my friend. Wait, we actually, that was the perfect ending on the first try. Are you kidding me? We're insane with it. Okay, you're off the clock. Tie off any loose ends before officially ending your shift. Okay, so we have some stuff to read, because I'm actually really curious in the story. Let's read this. Uh, something just happened that I can't for the life of me explain. I'm shaking just writing it, but I have to get this down or I'll doubt myself later. This is a note for blank. Future Juan? You did not imagine it. It was real. You know what you saw. 20 minutes ago, I was sitting in the booth just reading the paper. The light started flickering, which is nothing new. Blank, then blank. Do doodle smack. A coffee tin flew across the room, just shot off the shelf into the air, and then boom, into the window right in front of me. Nearly hit me in the head. At first, I thought it was some kind of prank. Maybe Rogers did blank something. But I, it, it could not have been. I checked. I checked everywhere. I saw it hit the window. It flew. I never believed in ghosts or physics or anything, or psychics or anything like that. That's movie stuff, comic book stuff. I live in the real world, but I don't know how else to explain what happened. It had to be blank, supernatural. Coffee tins don't fly around for no reason. Something had to have moved it. A beyond. I have a theory. I was reading this article at the moment it happened, thinking about that poor girl. It wasn't here the night they... I wasn't here the night they found her body, but every night I drive by the spot where blank uh, crossed out. The feds were here a few days ago, talking to whoever was on duty that night. There's a security camera pointed at that direction, but apparently Barclay being Barclay, it wasn't working. Didn't pick up anything. That's the official word, but I wonder. What about the electricity? The coffee tin flew at me right when I was reading about the girl. I've been asking around about the security cameras, about her. I'm just curious about stuff like this now. I listen when it comes up. I can't even write this. Come on, Juan. Maybe her ghost moved the can. Maybe the f power fluctuations have something to do with it. Stuff seems to happen when the lights start to flicker. Maybe she's trying to tell me something. But what? Avenge me? Believe me, I know how this sounds. I don't know who can- who I can tell about this. Even Manuel wouldn't say- would say it's a stretch. But I know what I saw. Could it have something to do with Barclay? Are they researching ghosts? Or do so, or do they know more than they're letting on about that girl? Does that song have anything to do with it? I have no idea. But I think somebody, something, wants me to find out. I have to keep dig digging. Avenge me. So what is this? The body of an unidentified woman was discovered late 
Le late last Wednesday off the shoulder of northbound Highway 25. A trucker called the woman's body in, and county coroners pronounced her dead at the scene. While he stopped short of revealing the cause of death, Sheriff Hardberger, Hardberger made it clear in a statement that he considers the case a homicide. The sheriff's office requests help identifying the woman uh, who does not match the details of any missing persons in the tri-country area. If you have any information, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and this we already read. Let's look. This we did not read, I think. The research team has been made aware by medical staff of a marked increase in personnel falling ill with similar sy symptoms over the past few weeks. After a brief investigation, we've discovered a correlation between this observed illness and the most recent power disturbances. We can assure you that this electrical sickness can be easily treated and causes no long-term effects. If you begin experiencing headaches, light sensitivity, visual or auditory hallucinations, or nausea, please report to medical sector for an evaluation. Uh, and then we got... I think that's it? Let me see. Is there anything else? This game is amazing, by the way. Oh, there's this! September 21st. 1987 which i guess that's where we're at yeah the tape obviously my fellow guards but i think the tape is going to take us to the credits that's what i'm thinking i usually make a point to keep to myself and not become involved with how others choose to present themselves in, my, in the workplace but lately i've noticed a trend of behavior that reflects poorly on all of us as members of the berkeley security team i have known my oh yeah there's a code also there's a code we need to figure out i have known michael J jenkins for a long time and he has recently been getting back on his feet after some personal difficulties. Since taking the job as our CSO, he has been working diligently to make much needed improvements to the team. While you may not agree with every decision he has made, he, our, he is our superior and he deserves our respect. Rude drawings, practical jokes, and other juvenile artifacts have no place in a professional setting, nor does hiding and defacing property that belongs to our, your co-workers. You may think it goes unnoticed, but I can assure you that Michael is aware of what is, goes on in this booth. I hope you will all take some time to consider your conduct and will carry out your duties with an appropriate level of professionalism in the future. Regards, Frank Ferguson. So this code? Yeah, we have to figure out a code. How the fuck do we... Find the code, losers. Or poser? Losers? Uh, it's a four-digit code, and we only have the five. Where... Oh, there's this. Does anyone else hear whispers? Hosers? Oh my god, there's so much. I was just supposed to read this. I was reading as much as I could, but there was constantly talking. I couldn't read. Weird being back in the booth after what happened last week. The night started out normal. I put the TV on, some old movie, turned the radio on too after some point, because the movie was boring. Then at like 2 a.m., the lights flickered. I noticed, but I didn't. But it didn't seem that strange until they flickered again and went out. Nothing I could do, so I sat around and waited for somebody else to fix it. After a while, the CSO came to check on me. And when he came into the booth, he said, Hey, what's that song? I thought he meant something on the radio, like it had come back on. But then he grabbed me by the shoulders hard, looked at me dead in the eyes, and asked if I was okay. And you know what? When he did that, I realized I was humming. But I didn't know the tune. It didn't sound like anything you'd normally hear on the radio. It was something I don't know. Kind of old-timey, like something Abuela would like. When I stood up, I had a dizzy spell. And that scared the CSO even more. I guess I was kind of scared too. He took me to the medical wing to get me checked out. The doctor took my pulse and sh shun shined a light in my eyes that was like painfully bright. He asked me if I knew who the president is. Finally, he told me I had an epileptic episode. I don't think I'm epileptic. And I told the doctor so, but he sent me home anyway. Said I should rest for a few days and try to get my shifts covered in the meantime. The power was still out when I got home. Guess a few other towns lost power too. Old timey tune. The weird thing is that the tune is still stuck in my head. Not all the time, but it keeps creeping back in. I still can't place it though. I tried humming it for Ma, but she didn't recognize it. Ditto for Manuel. Harry was here earlier when I clocked in and he didn't know it either. I wanted to talk to him about the power outage, but he wasn't interested. He just told me not to worry about it. The night shifts can mess with your head. Very interesting. There's so much, so many secrets. Uh, we got stuff up there. We can't move that. You have a flashlight this whole time? That we could have used? Any, any secrets? Is it, can we move? Can we open these? We cannot open these. There's a lock thing though. What the, how do we get the code? We need to get the code to the, to the, uh, to the locker. I want to see what's in there. Oh, four, a number. 
four. Okay. So we got five, four. They're just going to be sticky notes on the wall somewhere. Lily. Oh, that's cute. I love how this... Oh, there's another number. One. One, four, and five. Uh, the order is not given, though. So we're going to have to uh, get all the numbers and then try all the possible orders. Oh, there you go. Nine. One. Oh, wait, but how many digits? Yeah, wait. One, nine, and four, and five. One, nine, four, and five. Wait, it's... One, nine, five, four. Easy peasy. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? There's so much stuff here. There's a note. Uh, I can't believe I have to write this memo, but enough is enough. Quit spreading rumors about John. The situation is still being investigated, and he has been placed on administrative leave. He was not fired. Got it? Some of the other guards in both C Booth C have agreed to pull double shifts while everything is sorted. Sorted out. Perhaps the rest of you should spend more time doing your jobs rather than gossiping about what goes on here. Just a suggestion. Uh, can I use this? It actually has, like, water noises. Uh, is there something behind here? There is! And there's a tape! A special tape? <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is, this game is so good! Holy shit! There's so much stuff here. It really is like a better version of Do You Copy, honestly. I don't know. Is it made by the same people? It feels like genuinely very similar to Do You Copy and like Firewatch. What the fuck am I watching? Is this ever going to start? Is this just an intro to some fucked up? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> is it the voice actors? All right. Is there more? There is a note. Hands off the brewski. Oh, this beer. God gave me two hands, so why stick to just one beer? <laughs> oh, there's stuff underneath. Whoa, there's secrets. I'm making a mess, but I'm finding secrets. Dr. Vincent Tallmadge. Madge. <laughs> Accomplished scientist dies at 73. Dr. Vincent, preeminently preeminent geneticist and dedicated patriot, passed away on Tuesday in his hometown of Shenandoah. Shenandoah River. Life is old there. Older day. Sorry. Iowa. He was 73. He is survived. He is survived by his brother Dale, sister-in-law Betsy, Nee Lovington, nieces Francis and Linda, and five cousins. Olmedge was known for his contributions to his country, setting aside his own interests to serve America at the Ergon National Laboratory West at the dawn of the Cold War. His work was instrumental in setting the foundation for the Avery McLeod McCarty experiment, leading to discovery that the DNA is capable of transforming the properties of cells. Olmedge stepped away from public service following a sabbatical visit to his family in Iowa, and subsequently founded the Barclay Institute, a private research laboratory in Arizona. Over the next couple decades, Talmadge assembled a group of notable scientists to work with him at his institute, following early years of rapid growth. After stepping down as the head of Barclay Institute in 1979, Talmadge enjoyed a quiet retirement at his family home. He will be remembered as a pioneer in genetics research and a true American. I've had a hard time focusing since the blackout. They call it the Christmas catastrophe in town. That song is still stuck in my head. I can't shake the feeling that something is happening to me that night. Something I can't explain, which got me thinking, what do I actually even know about Barclay? What do they do here? I need answers. Ho, 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 he, 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 he. Oh, I did something I've never done before. I got a library card. Okay, maybe I had one when I was, when I was a kid, but I haven't been back since probably middle school. Manuel suggested I go as part of my investigation. He's the kind who, of kid who thinks the library is a cool place to hang out. God bless his heart. Truth is, he's not wrong. They've got all kinds of stuff there. 
not just books. For example, they have tons of old newspapers copied on something called microfish. Manuel told me about this too. Uh, with the help of your friendly neighborhood librarian, you can find articles or sp on specific dates and topics, like, say, the Berkeley Institute. I didn't find much, but it's got me fired up about co uncovering more. I made a copy of Dr. Vincent's Tolmage's orb uh, obit, founder of Berkeley, which mentioned Tolmage was a biologist, which begs the question, do they keep animals here? Possible, I guess, though I've never seen any. Other than that, all I found was some old job ads, mostly security and operational stuff. Seems like Berkeley was being, has been pretty successful. They keep hiring new people anyhow. And science monkeys? <laughs> science monkeys. Okay. Um, oh, there's... I already read this one, right? I think we got everything now? Oh, oh, wait! Wait a minute. I can leave? Can I unlock the door? I can't unlock the door. Can I hang it back? I can't. What is this? Gate drawers? Wait. Oh! Oh, hi there, dude. There's so many secrets. This is so cool. Uh, found another rubber snake in the file cabinet. Coiled up so it kind of jumped out at me when I opened the drawer. Gonna have to leave Roger to no a note because this was, the fin was his finest work yet. Do I like the guy? Jury's still out, but he definitely keeps my shift slightly less boring. Bo boring? <laughs> boring. CSO stopped by earlier to ask... If I want to stay on at Berkeley when the summer's over. Apparently, I'm very professional. As opposed to Rogers, I guess. I'm not sure what to do. The job's really not bad now that I've adapted to the nocturnal lifestyle. But I don't know. Bros, job's easy. Coworkers are pretty cool, I guess. Yes, even Rogers. Privacy free time, mostly. Uh, free coffee. Cons, minimum wage, but what job can I get that's not? Messed up sleep schedule, dead end. I don't want to get stuck here forever. Truth be told, I think it might be okay for now. When I first started, Harry said, Berkeley rewards loyalty, so hopefully in another year or two, I can get a better shift like him. And then, who knows? Nobody says it out loud, but we all know Berkeley handles government contracts. Maybe I, if I make things, make the right impressions, I can land a job with the feds, a job where I could make a real difference. Uh, another pro, Manuel and I have been talking more. I told him I had to sign an NDA, and now he thinks I'm a secret agent, if only. <laughs> There's also... Wait. This? Oh, that's just nothing. There's a p tape in here, too. That's classic. There's floppy disk. Raven Rush! Rev Ravine Rush. There's more lights. Oh. There's sanity pills. There's... I'm making such a mess. Oh, there's a cassette. Can we put these cassettes anywhere? I don't think we can. I think they're not working. Alright, this... Actually might be copyrighted, even though it's... Uh, the amount of times I've been copyright struck by classical music is stupid. It's like... Well, how can you copyright that? I know you can copyright the rendition or something, but whatever. Um... Anything else? Booth A. Gate? Can we leave? Why can I leave? And get out of here. Oh, there's a snake! <laughs> I didn't even see that. Hi there. It's a rattlesnake. That's gonna be a danger dangerous to leave. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is gonna be it. Oh, never mind. They're hiding this shit everywhere. Finally, something to report. I checked the delivery log at the beginning of my shift and, so shift and saw there was a shipment due at 2.30 a.m. Didn't say anything else, just classified. I thought that was a little weird, but whatever. Then 2.30 rolls around, and sure enough, here comes three trucks totally unmarked. Uh, I went out to authorize their entry like I always do, but as soon as I stepped out of the booth, somebody shouted at me. There were two central office security guys out there, and they were armed. One of them told me to go back inside. And I try not to argue with guys with guns. So I did what he said. The last truck just went out of sight, so I finally had a minute to write this all down. And more importantly, to think, what the hell is in those trucks? If they send those central office guards out there, out here, it must be something serious. But I can't imagine what. 4.30 a.m. Weirder and weirder. It's been two hours and the trucks haven't come back out yet. 5.20 a.m. Okay, the trucks are on their way out. About time. 
Those same guys from Central are walking them to the gate. I'm going to try and talk to them. They must know something. Doodle, not actual representation? Hahaha. <laughs> Lol. Um... 5.28 a.m. I chicken out. I had the perfect chance, too. One of the guys came up to the door and waved the all clear. He said he was sorry if he scared me before by yelling. I was so nervous, I just said, okay, thanks, like a dork, and watched him walk away. Now that they're gone, I'm kicking myself. What's wrong with me? How am I supposed to get any answers if I can't even work up the courage to ask questions? Uh, I asked Perry about the trucks. He said he'd been sh he'd seen shipments like that before, but he never wondered what was in them. Apparently, not asking too many questions is considered a desirable job skill at Berkeley. He told me I'd last longer if I just forgot about it. Okay. Oh, we, we can't take the sanity pills. I'm not very happy today. Bad. Did I check the upper drawer? Yeah, yeah, there's like nothing in there besides marshmallows. <laughs> the marshmallows. Uh, there's this, which I didn't read before. Mohawk County County Library. Oh, it's a library card, dude. They really did such an. In There's so much detail here. Can we use this? <gasps> Doesn't really make any difference, but all right, I did it. Uh, here is whatever that is. I love Grandpa. This we already read. What's that? Inkies, you found your glasses. Uh. <laughs> Can opener. Probably shouldn't put that on. That does not help me. We already read boo. Wait, no outside deliveries means no outside deliveries, including pizza. I called Tempo della Pizza myself to put a mor mor moratorium on deliveries until further notice. As consul consolation, you will find a small section of snacks provided to each station. Since Suzanne is on leave, I picked them out myself. There are some of my personal favorites. <laughs> like... This shit. Just, just a can. Also, we got a giant... I'm gonna... I'm gonna destroy everything if I keep going like that. Uh, just, just making one final check. What is this? Local security guard delivers mystery package. The Barclay Institute is making headlines with an other incident, with another incident that has th thrust the notoriously quiet private research facility into the spotlight once more. However, this time there was a happy ending. Local hillside resident Terry McPherson was has become the hero of the hour when she diverted a potentially dangerous package that was delivered to her security booth at the facility late Saturday morning. For all I knew, it could have been full of explosives," said Mr. Fer Miss McPherson. Is this a joke? No, it wasn't. We are watching. Did I read this? In the coming months, the research team anticipates... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one. Uh, our schedule... Who am I? Who am I? New hire. I'm probably the new hire. 6 to 2 a.m. New hire. They didn't even bother to write down my name. Come on, man. Uh... Alrighty, it's time to watch this tape. I want to see what's on the special tape we got from finishing the game. Let's see it. Uh, please? Oh, because the TV is off. Oops. I have to watch this. Oh, there we go. Now, what's going to happen? <laughs> is this going to be the credits? That's what I said! I told you it was gonna be the credits. Alrighty. I absolutely love that game. Now, there might be some additional secrets if you play again and again and again, but I think that's gonna be a little repetitive because when you play again, they're probably gonna keep saying the same stuff uh, that we already did. We already read the note under the coffee cans. I, this game was awesome. What a great game. I know the end was a little slow because I read all the notes, but I, I just, when a game is this good, like all of the notes were really interestingly written and very well made. The story was amazingly well done. It really had that, I... I wish we could have seen, like, I wish we could have met some people. Like, I wish it would have ended with going to some actual credits instead of doing this, where we could have, like, seen uh, Valerie or something, like a more happy ending, because now it feels a little weird to just end, but this is the end. So, yeah, we, we got Valerie out of the Institute. I wonder what happens. Like, we did it too good on our first playthrough. We didn't get killed. We didn't, we got Valerie killed one time because the thing didn't work. 
um, for some reason. Uh, but besides that, we did really well. So yeah, that was awesome. Very well made. Uh, not as long as Firewatch, obviously. More like a do you copy style. Because in do you copy, you also lead the monster, like, or you lead the hiker uh, to different locations. But yeah, there, there was no like jump scares or monsters at all. It was just all atmosphere. Very well done. So yeah, let me know what you thought. I uh, would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it. And if you want to join the Love the Gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insert. Click the link in the description down below. And if you want to watch more of me, you can watch my Do You Copy playthrough, which is more horror than this one. I think this was... It wasn't, like, super scary or anything, because there was never danger to me. It was more like an atmospheric, full horror-ish science fiction game, which I had a lot of fun with it. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>